pretty heartwarming follow up. It's the story of a local woman that we first told you about last night at 11. I don't understand why, for one thing, people like that steal from people who they can obviously see are poor. That's Patty Marsh. She had her car stolen at work with all her family's Christmas presents inside. Just a year ago, she and her family were homeless. They've overcome a lot of obstacles, and then now this hits. Well, Patty's story really touched a lot of our viewers. Mm -hmm. Now, Amy Frazier is live in the newsroom to show us how really perfect strangers Amy stepped up to save this family's Christmas. I have to tell you, there wasn't a dry eye in the house today as several of our viewers met us at Patty's home to show the mother and grandmother and her family the spirit of the season. A little nervous. Oh, yeah, just a little. Just one day till Christmas. Okay. And I just told them to come in, and they're coming in in five seconds. Patty Marsh is about to meet some coin viewers. Hi. Hi, come on in. Who wanted to help. Yes, That's we saw you. your story on TV this yes, morning, we did. and our hearts went out to you. New at 11, a local mother has her car stolen at work with her family's Christmas presents inside it. Last night and this morning, we told you how Patty Marsh of Vancouver was hoping someone could help her track down the car she relies on to get to work on Airport Way. Patty came out of her job last week to find her car gone. The mother says she's been through a lot recently from lifting herself out of homelessness to heart surgeries for her daughter. Today, Patty got a special envelope. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Oh, too generous. <laughs> oh my God. You could buy some gifts. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Money to help her replace the Christmas presents for her family. Yeah. Merry Christmas and bless you both. You're amazing. You're really well, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. As they said goodbye, I spoke with our generous viewers. It's a gift to give. I enjoy doing that. So, called to find out how we could help out. Called your station, and here we are. <laughs> Back inside, Patty and her family were in for another surprise. My name's Patty. This viewer also saw her story and wanted to help. I'm so happy. I just, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Well, I just think it's the right thing to do. You got to experience the bad part of the season and you should get to enjoy what the season's really about. In the spirit of giving and helping others. What if we go down the road and get some Christmas presents? A heartfelt offer to take Patty shopping. You're wonderful. <laughs> we'll just go shopping. Okay. We'll go so shopping. it's a chance for me to deliver the spirit of the season, so I get a gift out of it, too. Patty tells me it's hard to find the words to explain what she feels right now. Because I'm just so overwhelmed at the kindness. It just takes away all the bad. I'm not even, I'm not even mad at the people who stole my car anymore. Pretty neat to see. Now, Patty's stolen car is a 1996 dark green Nissan Maxima with Washington plates, AOP 4843. If you see it, you're asked to contact Portland Police. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amy Frazier, Queen 6 News. Amy.